guys and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Shanice Danae and yeah so I wanted to make this video just of me taking out these little rod things I kind of was just making up stuff today like as I went I had trim my ends because I need that <laughs> my ends need to be trimmed super bad so I did that today and I kind of was just like you know what I really need to wear my hair out more like I don't wear my hair out enough and I really want my natural hair to like flourish to grow and I just kind of been neglecting it a lot so I don't even know what this hairstyle is going to turn out or how it's going to turn out guys but um, if you guys like it, I promise I will do a tutorial on it. Just make sure you thumbs up this video, leave me a comment down below, and let me know if you liked it. Give me one second because I need to get a mirror. So I've been natural for quite some time now. I've been natural since 2000... How long have I been natural? 2010? 2010 is how long I've been natural. I know my hair doesn't really show its length as if it were natural that long. Probably because I cut my hair so much. Um, and when I say I cut my hair a lot, I cut my hair like, I probably did chop about three times. I don't know why I didn't never document this and show you guys. But I legit cut my hair about three times. Um, big chop anyway. And then I kind of cut it into different styles. I had a bob, I had a mohawk. I mean, I did a little bit of everything. I never really showed you guys on camera now that I think about it. And I probably should have documented that, but by that time I wasn't really doing like YouTube that much um i was wearing a lot of protective styles and braids and things of that sort but there comes a time when your hair just actually just really needs a break my hair is still wet guys oh my god so that means it's probably not going to come out right i kind of figure like my, it takes forever for my hair to, to dry because it's so thick but i mean we'll just make it work so um so yeah so i just kind of just been going going with the flow but i i'm at this point now where I'm not that I've never been comfortable with my hair, but I just feel like I just need to start wearing it out a lot more than what I have been doing. Um, you can check out my hoops, guys. I haven't worn hoops in years. I feel like I haven't worn hoops since I was like in high school in like 2004. It's been forever. So I'm like, let me rock my hoops today. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I just really want my hair to just really flourish and grow. I might have to, I don't know if I might have to blow dry the ends. Yeah, it's still wet, y'all. That's the only thing about my hair. I get frustrated. Like, I'm so happy and thankful that my hair is super thick. But, like, I didn't even do this on wet hair. Like, I did it on, I did it on dry hair and I damped it, like, with a mist with a blow, um, not blow dryer, what is it? With a spray bottle. And my hair is still wet. Like, <sighs> the frustration. So, um, and I did that like around 11 o'clock. No, I did it around 9 o'clock this morning. And it is now 4.23. And it's still not dry. So, um, I just have to really learn how to take care of my hair. Not, I shouldn't say take care of my hair, but I have to learn how to um, figure out like the time it takes to dry, things of that sort. But... I think I'm going to do one more protective style, which is going to be like box braids. I have the hair sitting over it. That's why I'm looking at it. <laughs> but I think I'm going to do that for you guys. Kind of going more towards the fall, like maybe late August or early August. But for the most part, I really want to wear my natural hair out, guys. I want to learn different styles. I want to do different tutorials. Let me know if you guys are interested in that or if you prefer me to do a lot of weave styles. I think I'm going to do more wig reviews now versus crochet. Um, crochet, to me, is really going out of style. And um, I'm starting to have a allergic reaction to some hair. Um, and then just the tension on my hair in general is just something I don't want to keep re reviewing for you guys, mainly because I don't want to go bald for y'all. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to just take a little break from crochet. Um, I'll definitely post, if I didn't, I'll post it already. I'll post another full lock for you guys. But for the most part, I think I have two more styles to do and I'm pretty much done with crochet. Um, but yeah, so let me get some blow dryer. Let me get a blow dryer on this really quick and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm at the point, honestly, guys, that I just came to the realization that it's just not going to be fully dry. And I am, 
honestly I'm okay with that I mean it's, it is what it is so I'm just going to start taking out these little curls I mean this one in the front is super wet I don't know if I can do that. Moisturize my hair. You Honestly, when you're natural, you really just have to find a product that works best for you. I happen to find that the Elastic QP, the olive oil and mango butter, it works perfectly for me. I'll put a link down below for you guys for it. Um, it you can get it at your local beauty supply store. I don't know how much it costs, and it doesn't have a sticker on here. Um, but it literally moisturizes the crap out of my hair. First big chop. And I kind of was just, it wasn't that I didn't like getting relaxers. It was mainly because I was allergic to perms. Literally, my scalp would just split. And I don't know. It was just something that just wasn't for me. And even when I did get relaxers, I would get them like once or twice a year because of that reason. Um, I didn't even know I still had a roller in here. So, so yeah, like. You just have to find what works best for you, I guess. But, and I have to comb it out like high, guys, because if it's wet, so I have to comb it out as much as possible, or it's not going to look right because it's still wet. Taking care of your natural hair, I wouldn't say that it's hard. It just it's just a lot that goes into it, especially if you want to take care of it the way that you're supposed to take care of it. Um, at least that's this is just from my opinion. Okay, guys, so this was probably about as good as I can get it, mainly because my hair is not dry, and because my hair is not dry. It's not technically falling the way that I would like for it to fall. Thumbs up this video, guys, if you personally think that I should start doing a little bit more natural hairstyles as well as wear my natural hair out a lot more for you guys. If that's the content that you guys want to see, I am totally down. I don't really show my natural hair that much on this channel, which is crazy because when I first started my YouTube channel back in 2011, I, um, that was honestly the only reason why I had started the channel was to show my natural hair journey. I actually deleted those videos and I wish that I didn't. Um, I just figured people weren't watching them so I just deleted some of them, not all of them, but like the ones all the way back from 2011 I deleted. Um, and of course the camera quality wasn't that great then. But again guys, um, let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for tuning into this video. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. I cannot be so thankful and thank you guys enough. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below as well as hit the notification so that way you don't miss any videos from your girl. But I'll talk to you guys next time. You know what I always say? Do this.